Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is part two of my funnel cake recipe. Part one will be in the description box below where I give you the powdered sugar recipe. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell for more recipes. Let's get right into it. So first we're gonna start off by creating a strawberry topping. To do so, you must remove the stems from the strawberry, cut the tips off, and then cut them right down the middle. So right here I have some Smucker strawberry jam and this is key to our strawberry topping. You want to put a little bit of this in a pot and then put the strawberries, mix it together, make sure that you're coating the strawberries evenly. So after placing my strawberries in the stove, it's time to get ready for our funnel cake. Oh, I can hear y'all now. Please do not come for me in the comments about this pancake mix. It's all my mama had in her cabinet. We both wanted some funnel cake, so that's what we use. You can use any pancake mix you want for this recipe. But listen, don't come for me. So basically I'm just taking one cup of pancake mix, putting it in a bowl with some cinnamon, some vanilla extract, and gradually adding water to make sure the consistency is correct. So here I'm just adding one teaspoon of vanilla extract and a little bit of cinnamon. Honestly, you do not need to add these items into your mixture. This was my preference because I had original, like a non-flavored original pancake mix. Now, if you have something like banana nut pancake mix or um, home style or something of that nature, you do not have to add these ingredients. The one ingredient that I added, which is key for all of the funnel mix recipes, is sugar. And I only added about one tablespoon of sugar. As I stated earlier, I did only add one tablespoon of sugar to the mixture. This is necessary for the recipe. Everything else, do as you please. So now I'm just taking a cup of water and I'm gonna add that to the mixture gradually. I do wanna point out that my strawberries in the back are done cooking. They have been done cooking for some time now. You do wanna constantly stir those while they're on the stove, but you do wanna turn them off so they do not burn. Now, back to my mixture. As you can see, I am still adding water and stirring, stirring, stirring. The key is to whip that batter, okay? Whip it so you can mix it all together. Make sure you're hitting all those bubbles, all those spaces, that the water is getting into the flour the way it's supposed to. And this is the consistency that we're looking for. You wanna make sure when you pull up that whiz, it's a long string of batter just sliding down. That is the key to having a good batter. It's not too thick, not too runny. That is perfect right there. The thicker the batter, the easier it is to undercook it. The thinner the batter, the easier it is to overcook it. What I have here is the best consistency. So now that I preheated my oil, I'm going to move my batter into a measuring cup so that I can transfer it into our funnel cake bottle.
Now onto the bottle. This bottle here was specifically cut this way so that it would give us the effect of a funnel. I will show you the original bottle. This is the original bottle. Now these came to a pack for a dollar at the dollar store, very cheap. Um, and I just decided to cut the top so it'd be shaped just like a funnel would be shaped when you're doing a funnel cake. So now I'm just using the wood method to see if my oil is heated up. And as you can tell that there are bubbles coming from the pick, that means that your oil is ready to fry. So the main mistake that I made here that I do not want you to copy is that I did not have enough batter in my bottle. You wanna make sure that your bottle is full of batter. As you can tell, there are parts where it stops coming out, then comes out again. You wanna prevent that by filling it all the way up. When the bottle is full, it can help distribute the batter evenly. So now my cake is ready to flip. I'm just gonna take one stick and another stick on one side and flip it this way. Um, tongs are very beneficial. Um, I did not have any yet at the moment, so this is what I used. Does anybody notice anything funny about my cake? Um, this is a result of not putting enough batter in my bottle. I have the stop and go thing where there are like big bunches, chunks inside of the funnel cake where traditionally it's outside of the cake. So just be aware of that. It still tastes like funnel cake. It has, if that happens to you, that's no problem. It'll still taste like funnel cake. It'll still be delicious. But if you're a, a looks and a presentation person, put enough batter in that bottle. Now on to my favorite part. I'm adding my strawberries to my funnel cake. I'm doing a little like, trying to do like a culinary design or plate presentation. I'm not a professional, so child, it don't look that great to me. So in the last clip, you're gonna see how it just disappeared. But anyways, I'm adding my strawberries. Um, and if you want like thick strawberry sauce, you don't have to heat your strawberry sauce up. But me, I like it with the juices and all that stuff. Now I'm about to take my powdered sugar and sprinkle that on top. And then I'm just gonna add in my whipped cream. And that's it guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been my part two to my funnel cake recipe. Again, part one will be linked in the description box. Um, stay tuned for more content. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more videos. Bye.